Blue poop challenge. It has to do something with your poop. It has to do something with this blue muffin. And all of this tells you something about your health. Before I tell you what's the role of this blue muffin, I'd like to explain you what I mean when I talk about health, and this from a microbiologic point of view. There's this figure of speech that says, you are what you eat. I'd like to extend that and say, you and they are what you eat. Because there's this micro-community, the microbiome, that lives in your digestive tract and helps you to split food into smaller portions. Micro means little, biome is life. They, what they do is they extract the essential nutrients out of the food matrix. Because you can imagine the vitamin A, which is inside of a carrot, is pretty small. A carrot is very hard, and you would need to chew for a very, very long time to get this vitamin A outside of it. So that's where the microorganisms help you. Interestingly, each of you has its own micro-community. Like, why? I mean, we all eat different. Genetic influence is very low. It's you who decides, who lives in your gut. So if you feed your microorganism a diet, which is high in sugar, high in fat, high in processed food, you give growth to microorganisms that are rather considered as bad for your health. Because even we're all different, there are like around 30 microorganisms which are typical to the human gut. 15 are markers for good health, and 15 are markers for bad health. So as long as they're in equal numbers, we're in a state of balance. But the moment the bad ones overtake because of bad diet, you come into the state of imbalance and are prone to diseases. So how do I know how my community is doing? This muffin is an inexpensive, affordable experiment to check on your health community and your gut and the health of your community. What do you do? You bake a muffin with some blue food coloring, you eat it and you note down the time, and then you wait. Until your poo turns out to be blue, and then you note your time again. This is the transit time food needs to pass through your digestive tract. We see that people which have very fast digestions below 15 hours, or people that have very long digestions, over 50 hours, have certain diseases and are more risk of diseases. Like, for example, people with cardiometabolic health problems have elevated levels of a certain bacterium. They also have a very long transit time, which is very promising, this correlation between the two of them, because next time before you run to the doctor to check on your health, maybe bake yourself a muffin. <laughs> 